Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an external group in Yammer. You could use this to help keep a dispersed project team in touch, set up a topical network with clients or even deliver a complete online training course. In my last video I gave an overview of the admin features in Yammer and the location of the admin guides. Now as an example, we'll be setting up a branded learning site for a course with different sections, groups, a video and course contents and notes. Now this could just as well be project stages and project documents or, uh, or different topics. First, I'm going to set up the network. Now this is an external network because we're going to invite external people to the network and it's also private since I want to keep the membership limited to those I invite. I can create a new network each time I want to run this course with a different set of people or a new network for each project or professional team and I'm going to call it SJK Faster Cycling. Now I'm going to brand the network with a picture across the top and the logo. And now I'm going to set up some policies. Uh, I only want admins to invite people, a daily digest of messages, a usage policy that people have to accept when they log in and it's put on the sidebar to remind folks to be nice. Next I'm going to configure what you can see on people's profiles. I want their name, uh, their expertise, their work history, uh, their contact details and their website. Then I'm going to add groups for each section. Everyone in the network can access these groups and the groups are just there to keep the conversations on topic. You could call these tracks or project stages or different tasks, different tasks in a team assignment.
Next I'm going to add an image, um, a group image for uh, each group and a little description of what each group's about. Now I'm going to add the uh, documents or media for each section or stage and it's just uh, simply a case of uploading files from my computer. Here we are, done. So here we are with all the content. You can put several different file types in here. I've got here PDFs, Word documents, uh, an MP4 video file. You can put presentations in, audio files, uh, CV Yammer pages for the full range of uh, media you can add to your groups. Finally, I'm going to invite my external users. If I've got lots of users, I can do this from a larger CSV file. But for this demo, I'm just going to invite one person at the moment. When they log into their email, they see the invite and just need to accept the invitation. If they don't already have a Yammer account, then they'll be invited to create one and they'll just need to type in a password to use with that email. And then, well, when you've logged in, you can select uh, which units or which tracks you wish to uh, join, which is probably all of them. Uh, they can add an image to their profile and they get the usable uh, acceptance policy, user acceptance policy to accept, which is how we configured it to start with, and then they can look at all the content that we've created in the network. Um, the access to uh, all the sections and open up the documents and notice they haven't got any of the uh, admin features because uh, they didn't set them up as an admin in this case. There we are done, from start to finish in just a few minutes. As time goes by, I will need to add and remove users, and I may need to start monitoring the content dependent on my role. Thanks for watching. Please see my other demos of how to use the features of Office 365 for Business at simonjameskid.com.